Hello, my name is Michael DeJoya and welcome to Advanced Chart Configuration with Das Trader. This is part one of a eight part series that's gonna go through all kinds of different advanced chart configuration and setup for Das Traders indicators. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, just to tell you a little bit about myself, I started in New York's Wall Street financial community. Um, I've been a trader, a risk manager, a market maker, a trading desk manager. I've pretty much um, had every major role um, that you can have on a trading desk here in New York City. And in 2005, I started my own educational company. Uh, I ran that company until 2018. Um, I'm currently a licensed professional in the securities industry, and I'm also the uh, director of education here at Das Trader. And I wanted to teach you a little bit about um, all the advanced charting elements that Das Trader has to offer. So let's talk a little bit about setting up um, new sections of your chart um, for you to put your indicators on. We're going to go through some of the different indicators that we offer here on Das Trader, and um, I'm going to kind of give you a preview of each of the indicators that we're going to feature during the course of this eight-part series. And uh, probably we'll have another eight sections after that because there are a tremendous amount of indicators here on Das Trader. And we're going to talk about using multiple time frames and linking various charts together. So without further ado, I'm just going to uh, pop open my, my Dash Trader and I am going to get started showing you all how to use Dash's charts. Now I have to tell you, it, it really is an impressive charting application. Um, you know, from a, from a indicator perspective, you're gonna see how many different indicators you can put on the various um, different charts and you could have multiple charts open at the same time. It's a very, very powerful charting application. So let's switch over to our Dash Trader. And I don't want you to get daunted by all the different indicators that we have and all the different information that you see here on your screen. So here, just to, just to give a quick quick review, is we have um, our level two screen, and I'm gonna pop open the um, SPY, tends to stay fairly active. And here is our market view. Here is our position window. Here is our, our um, trade signal window. Here's our news window our options window. And of course, the one that we're really gonna be featuring today is our chart window. And I'm just gonna stretch this out a little bit so that we have a nice big screen. And I'm gonna focus mainly on the daily chart at first, okay? Now notice that this is the SPY. I'm just gonna type this in real quick. I'm gonna type in the QQQ. Notice that it only changed my level two screen and it's time of sale. But if you go right here, to this little anchor and drag it across to here. Now the QQQ is also on here along with your time and sales. Next, I'm just gonna pipe in the DIA. Okay, and now you got the DIA on here as well. So just to, to first talk about the daily chart. The daily chart is our main swing trading time frame. And if you wonder what swing trading is, we also have a great uh, series coming up on the different styles of trading. So you'll learn all about position trading, which is a techno fundamental style of trading. You'll learn about um, swing trading, which is a three to five day holding period. You'll learn about core trading, which is trading on your weekly charts, which is, uh, kind of a hybrid between uh, swing trading and, and uh, position trading. Position trading also has a fundamental element to it as well. If you like to have a little bit of an understanding of the management and the stock and a little bit more of a deeper sense. Um, and then we're going to go through all the different intraday, um, you know, types of trading as well. So the intraday types of trading are uh, 60 minute, which is intraday day trading. Um, you have your gap trading styles. You have your tactical day trading or technical day trading. 
which is on your five minute using momentum trading techniques. And then of course you have your scalping styles, which are anywhere less than five minutes, five minutes or less. So now that we understand a little bit about the timeframes, um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna probably make two timeframes of charts, probably gonna put on another time frame just so we can see what it looks like on the intraday. Um, but then I'm also going to just um, it configure different chart sections. So right click on your chart and you go to chart area. And I'm gonna configure an area before. Okay, now I got this big window up here before. I'm just gonna make it a little bit more manageable in terms of size. I'm gonna go to chart area, manage area after. I'm gonna right click here and then just move this up. Right click. Now I'm going to put in here, uh, I'm going to configure study config. I just slapped the RSI on here. Now I want to notice that, that these, the, the, the fonts here are a little small for me to see. You know, I'm getting older and don't see as well. So I'm going to click here on my titles. I'm going to make this 10. I'm going to make it regular. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for here, which is 10, regular, okay. Okay, so now we got our, 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 our fonts very clear. Our All of our fonts are clear. Now, the only one I had that on bold, so it was a little clearer for me to see the moving averages in bold, but this is fine. Um, I'm gonna go down here and I'll do study config. And the one that I'm gonna put on here is the MACD. So I'm just going to find the MACD here. And I want you to see how many different indicators we have here. We have price, volume, moving averages, STO, momentum, RSI, OBV, which is on balance volume, um, envelopes, Bollinger Band, CCI, commodity channel index, MACD, moving average convergence. Boom. Put that on there. I already have it nicely pre-configured to my defaults. And it does save the defaults. Once you configure the chart, it does save your coloring and your defaults. Now, guys, I have on here the moving averages, but I'm going to right click. I'm going to go study config. I'm going to config. I'm going to remove the moving averages. And then I'm going to put on here Ichimoku Cloud. Select. And boom. Now I got an Ichimoku Cloud on there as well. This is the slow. Right, this is the slow line, that's why it ends up there, but there's the cloud. And then you can see that this is a beautiful, very, very nicely displayed chart with a lot of colors. Um, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put my moving averages back on there, just so you can see how quickly and easily you can add things in. A 10 period, commit. I want you to see that I just have to hit 20 period, choose my color. All right, I'm gonna put in one more, which is the 50. I'm just gonna change the color on this one because it already is the right time frame. but I'll just put in here, make it a nice pink. Commit, commit, boom, we got, we got all of our different time frames. We got our moving averages. Beautiful. Okay. So let's go and let's configure our next time frame. Now I want you to see what I can do here. If I like these indicators, okay. If I like these indicators or if I like a chart setup, I'm going to actually configure this not to be so busy. Okay. I'm going to right click on here, go to configure. Notice there's a kind of like a, like a grid box. I'm gonna get rid of the horizontal lines and I'm gonna update my fonts once again. So I'm gonna go back to 11. I'm gonna leave bold on there this time. I'm gonna go back to 11, even though I think I did 10 last time, but it's okay. All right, close enough. I'm gonna actually change this back. I like the horizontal lines, not the vertical. So here I'm gonna re-kick horizontal, unclick vertical and hit okay. Okay, I got my moving averages on here. I'm gonna just change one more thing, which is I had the bold on here. I'm gonna unbold it. 
very, very easy. Just hit regular, okay, and okay. Boom, we're in business. One day chart, one day chart. Here's our 15 minute chart. Now I got an intraday. Now notice this little thing right here. This kind of low volume area is good for an intraday chart because it shows the pre and post market. So on Dash Trader, you can show the pre. Now look at also this is Starbucks. How do I fix that? Just take the anchor, drop the anchor over here. Okay. Let me see. Do I have any other charts on here? Oh, I got a line chart. So let me put up my line chart up here. Okay, I'm going to drag my daily chart up here. Okay, this is my line chart of the of the NASDAQ. Okay, I'm going to save this chart layout. Okay, so save settings. And I'm going to save this setup as my intraday with pre and post save okay all done now i'm going to pop open a new chart tools quotes chart all right right click load settings intraday pre post open let me just bring over my little multi time frame indicator what do I do? Drag the anchor, 15 minute chart. Let's drop it down to a five minute. Now guys, I usually personally, I like to have my charts configured in such a way that my daily is kind of up and to the left. And then my intraday is next to my level two screen. All right, so here we have it. This is my intraday. Now I want you to look at something. I can go use my right and left arrows to see the pre and post market data. This is the pre-market data. Now guys, something that I like to do, I'm gonna configure, study config, and we're gonna go through the view app and how to use view app. I'm gonna take my moving averages, averages out and I'm gonna slap my view app in there. Hit remove, VWAP in, select, boom, VWAP in. And I'm gonna change my VWAP to, I don't know, I'll do 50. I'm gonna change my VWAP as well because my VWAP line is incredibly large. My width was 50, not my my not my standard deviation or anchor point. Anchor point should be 50. My width should be five. I figure it looks like 50 was not enough. You got to play with these things a little bit as well. So you just got to do your study config. Go to VWAP. I'm going to put it back to 100 because we know 100 worked. Boom, there's our view app of 100. Now, look, guys, if I go through the chart, as you see the day, you see price crossed view app there right at, at 1430. It was a key uh, turning point. But you have your view app clearly delineated there on my intraday chart. If I want to see where my moving averages are, I got them on my 60 minute chart. Now, I want to show you how we can right click, go to configure. Okay. Right click, let's go to uh, data manage. Okay, cool. Data config. So guys here we can change, this is where you go is under data config. You can show pre and post market, unclick that, hit commit. And now let's look, we have no pre and post market data. 
let's just take a look. So we have the five minute fitting into the 15 minute. We're on a right click, go to data config. Very click and easy, uncheck this, boom. We have our five minute window, our 15 minute window, and we have our daily, and we have our RSI, and we have our MACD all displayed on multiple time frames. Various different indicators. This is a very small laptop screen, and I have a great picture of the market. I even have the NASDAQ index. If I wanted to look at that versus, let's say, the S&P, I could do a very quick comparison by comparison this one day. Let's just do, um, let's just flip this to a five minute. So this is the five minute of the NASDAQ versus the five minute of the S&P. Very, very similar pattern, although it does look like the S&P was a little weaker than the NASDAQ. Um, I could put in GBTC, which is Bitcoin, G, GBTC, Bitcoin. And you can see that that certainly had a different pattern than the markets, certainly much more relatively strong to the markets versus, um, you know, versus the, uh, um, the NASDAQ or the S&P. So um, certainly relative strength in the, in the cryptocurrency market. But, but needless to say, you guys get the gist. I hope you found this uh, first tutorial about advanced charting educational and informative. Um, I'm just going to switch back to my, uh, my other screen just to go over the final, final share to tell you a little bit more on how you can continue to work with me and learn more about Dash Trader, learn more about trading as time goes on. Um, we have a lot of uh, uh, planned events upcoming. And we'd love to have you uh, to continue to work with us. So just to uh, just to jump on to there, what are your next steps? And I'm just gonna show you next steps. Go to learningdaytrading.com. Scroll down to our featured educator. Just click on my name. Select the coaching session that you're interested in, um, so you can continue learning with me and Das. Purchase your session. You can do a uh, starter session for 30 minutes. It's just fifty dollars. And that $50 will be applied towards any package that you decide to buy. And uh, you can also do hourly coaching. If you do anything more than five hours, you get hourly coaching discounts. So five hours, 10 hours, you get a, a bigger, more time that you book, the bigger the discount is. And then we can continue to work on creating a trading plan, continuing to learn your Dash Trader platform, how to use the indicators, how to um, you know, manage a trade to risk list how to read different charts and interpret just different types of data. And, and you can do that all using your Dash Trader platform. So I hope you found this event educational and informative, and I look forward to hearing from you and working with you in the future. Thank you so much.